Hello, I am Raleigh Hawthorne, and I am so honored to be a part of this production series put on by the Rude Mechanicals. We've been doing the plays of Idris Goodwin, and this latest one is called Act Free. And it had me thinking about being free in a whole new way. As someone who was born free, I never had to know what it was like to become free, what that would feel like. How would it feel to be told that your entire life was about to change in such a dramatic way? The emotions, the questions, where you would go, where you could go, what would you do? I'm proud to have worked with such talented actors on Zana, Blythe, and Princess to bring these words off the page and to life. Through discussion and study, they help bring out the depth and the heart in these words. I thank the Rude Mechanicals for supporting stories, casting, and production teams that fit, feature women and people of color. Representation matters. I hope we will make you smile, cringe, laugh, cry, and think. Distinguished guests, thank you for joining us, and we hope you enjoy the show. Guess what? What? You won't believe it. Believe what? Believe what? I was getting a drink of water and I overheard the higher ups talk. They didn't catch you listening to them, did they? No, no, no. They don't no. like eavesdroppers. I know that's right. Listen. Seriously, this one time. Listen, listen. So it turns out we're free. What? Free. Seriously, free. That's not even funny. It's not a joke. I heard him saying it. And it turns out we've been free for a while, but nobody told us. How long of a while? Days? Months? Years. How is that? Years? What? Supposed to be somebody who was coming to tell us, but he got lost or maybe died in some quicksand or something. They just sent one person to tell us? Oh, well, now there's a bunch of troops coming. How many troops? How should I know? All I know is that we're free, which means we don't have to do this anymore. This? What this? All this. So we are free? Yes. So I can just walk off right now right now and nobody will come after me why would they you're just as free as they are have you talked to the higher-ups about this they were talking trying to figure out how to tell everyone how to tell us what's so hard about just telling us well i think they're worried that people the lower than them but higher than us folks will be scared because this has been an arrangement for so long and you know people don't like change amen to that change mosquitoes so when they finally tell us look surprised because i probably wasn't supposed to say anything but if we've been free a while what's it matter what do you mean that's a good point. This has actually been free this whole time, then we could just go right now. Well, they probably wouldn't appreciate that. As far as they know, we still think we aren't free. So if we started walking around like we were free, they'd think, hey, what's the big idea? But you said it, we are free. You did say that. Yes, as soon as the higher-ups tell us. That don't make no sense. Well, none of this makes sense. What if we've been free even longer than you heard him say we've been free? What if we're the only gaggle of fools thinking they aren't free, and the whole time everybody else been sipping lemonade and going about their day as jolly as a rabbit in May? I'm pretty sure that hasn't been the case. 
but imagine. So once they tell us, what are we supposed to do? Anything we want. Me, I'm going to get my own land and work it. Work some land. That's what you do now. How are you even going to get some land? You know, there's got to be some land somewhere nobody is using. What about you? Not sure. Just be free, I guess. Walk around with my free self, thinking my free thoughts. Hey, do you think everyone will change how they treat us now that we're free? <laughs> what? <laughs> we're free now. Well, not according to you. In a few moments, they'll be coming over to read the, I think they called it charter or something. Sometimes paper ain't nothing but a dead tree. Mm. Where did you hear that from? A tree. <laughs> you don't seem excited. I don't understand. Mm. Because for us, what does free even mean? Free to do what? What good, good is it to be free if you don't have anything? The higher-ups, they became higher-ups because their daddies were higher-ups. Their mo My mother wasn't free, and her father wasn't free, and his mother wasn't free. They didn't pass down anything to me but bad memories. That's a good thing. Get land, grow crops, and sell them to who? You think the people who used to be in charge will do business with someone five minutes ago they thought was no different than the cow? You do sound like a cow when you snore. That's not <laughs> funny. They gave you more than bad memories. You're smart and you're strong, and that's all you need to build anything. Some wits and some muscle. That's a good point. Be quiet. Just a minute ago, you were agreeing with me. Okay. Okay. Here they come. Here they come. How should we act? Just act natural. What is natural for free people who thought they wasn't? Shh. Here they come. This is it. This is it. Quiet, y'all. After this, it'll all be over. Mm. Something tells me it will not be over soon. Maybe not soon, but it will be over. <laughs> 